Welcome to Meg's Motorcycle Journey, where we explore the world on two wheels. This channel will follow me on my journey to become a better rider and explore my love of all things motorcycles. Hey guys, this is footage from us riding in and around the Nashville, Tennessee area. The riding footage is specifically from the Natchez Trace Parkway, which was an absolutely beautiful ride. Before we left, I asked a number of people on my Instagram page what would be their suggestion for the best roads in and around Nashville to ride, and this was by far the most frequent suggestion I got. Also want to put out a huge thank you to Eric Young, who showed us around and gave us a little tour of the parkway area, which was a lot of fun, so you guys will see some of that footage. Some of the other footage in this video is cameraman and I exploring the actual city of Nashville, which we had a little bit of riding footage riding in, but it truly wasn't great. Some of it was city riding and it was tough to get some good shots. So I didn't include that in this video, but I did include some of the places that we went to see. All in all, I thought that Nashville was a beautiful and clean city, and we had a really nice time. I will say this, it was a lot more of a party than I expected. So those of you guys that are from Nashville really know how to have a great time. So you'll see some of that footage, but we're in downtown Nashville and cameraman and I and most of the people we grew up with are big country music fans. Not too much like modern country, older country. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I have always wanted to see the country music hall game, which I know is touristy, but we're going to check it out and then we might see what else we can get into. It was very interesting because when we came into the city, Cameron and I remarked that it seemed almost deserted at points. And then once we got to the heart of the city, it was no longer deserted. It seemed Stop it. like a huge party <laughs> at 3 o'clock on a Friday. So we'll see uh, what we can get into. Me off. Sorry, I don't mean to. I'm just looking, trying to take it all in. You know, I'm bad at that. Oh, I should have worn my red or white shirt that I have on that. Another shirt. All right, you're getting looks. <laughs> oh. Why am I giving looks when there's all of us? Let's look both ways. You just trust the light? I can't. Uh, I, I don't trust the light. I, I still look. Like the hands? I, I don't trust it. This is cool. What do we have here? You know, we have... Oh, never been here. Everett, come here. 
Should I turn off? Maybe turn back on afterwards or not? Yeah, let's see what they say, I guess. All you can do is say no. It does help, doesn't it? Hi. Yeah. The queue here on the right will say we don't allow anything but the camera to go into the museum. So your handheld device will need to be put Copy that. Okay. Alright, just head down that way and you'll... Is that? I'm trying to figure out who these people were. We'll check it out. There's lots to see. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Classroom, there you go, right? I don't know what this is, but yeah, I... No, this isn't the place. This is the kids' part for the stuff. I do like that dress. I'm going to wear it. Dress? Wait, what's something I would wear? You dress up as Taylor Swift for Halloween. I could. But that dress might be hard to come by. You know, that dress does look like me, doesn't it? That's going to be my favorite part, all their outfits. I'm going to go like that. So, we managed to find a motorcycle in the country music hall of fame. Not just any motorcycle, was it? Bob Appleton's Custom Cycle Works, the Steers and Stripes, custom finish on Ronnie Dunn's 1994 Harley Davidson FXS TC 1340 soft tail custom. Is that their little race car thing? The motorcycle's way cooler. Uh, I like the stairs on it. Yeah. What do you like this cowboy boots? The clothes are definitely going to be my favorite part. I like that dress too. I'd wear that. That right. dress? I want to wear these for that. Alright, y'all, we thought of a funny game, which is that um, we walk by the different outfits of the famous people and Kim Man guesses whether I would wear it or not. This is all Casey Musgraves. You have to stand next to it so I can see. Yes. No. No? Okay. You would wear that vest. Correct. Anything else here? Maybe the black vest? Maybe some of that black Because it's red. Yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Would I wear any of No. Nothing yet, huh? Just that those ones are twos. You would definitely wear the shorts. <laughs> How about the boots? The boots, yes. Everything else is staying where it's at, especially that. <laughs> you don't think I'd wear that? No, I don't think you would. I don't think you would wear any of those. That, those dresses don't look like your prom dresses. <laughs> That maybe that white one. Yeah, I agree. Probably. You'd wear that as a cowgirl outfit if you were going to something. That one you would wear too. Yeah, I would wear that one and that other one. You're right. I would if I had a cowgirl. 
you just missed some important. Oh, that, that looks like your prom dress. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you would wear that one too. You're right. Alright guys, we uh, finished up in the country music Hall of Fame in the museum. There we go. <laughs> uh, and now we're headed to do some people walking downtown. <laughs> Obviously, because the closest large city to Cameraman and I is Baltimore, and we all know that's like it ain't nothing like Baltimore capital or something. So, <clears throat> comparatively, it seems pretty clean and safe. So that's always a good change. I'm not a big city girl, but it's nice to go do fun things sometimes, especially if you don't have to worry about that stuff. Is that where we're going? Uh, drunk people running across the street. About it's always a good sign. On a scooter. A speeder. <laughs> we'll get hit now. There we go. Hope we see something really awesome, like a drunk person fall off a scooter. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're out long enough around here, I'm sure you're going to see some drunk people fall on those party buses while well, bumping. <laughs> She said, wow. <laughs> what? She said, wow. <laughs> About what? I'm assuming you. Oh. I could have been his mother. <laughs> I mean, I'm old enough to have been his mother. All the advertising and Michael, the rain did not discourage them. Nah, they're still out here handling business. <laughs> <laughs> they got a job to do. We're smashing Nashville is what they said. Alright, so we're going to probably have to turn it off because we're not going to be able to play. There comes the party bus. You want to get on? Nah, uh, that was me. Yeah. But y'all, I do think it might get too loud. loud and too much music for you to, one, here and two, I won't Edit. be able to play it on YouTube. So, we'll uh, check back in later. I get one shot of the honky tonk. Because that's something else with the people hanging out. Look at that. All them people hanging out the windows. Oh, on top. Yeah. It's a good time. We'll go up there and eat. Yes. You got there. <laughs> a cookie sundae, um, which was a like half a pound cookie, um, and then three scoops of ice cream. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. You do? <laughs> that, that's some shit right now. That girl was impressed. Don't do that for Mike. Yeah. It's worth it. No, no not Mike. Sorry. The next one down. The next one? Uh, the next, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What happened to your, your spoon, man? I became the hog. You became the hog? The food set in and you went to town, huh? I bet they could do that. <laughs> it was delicious, but they needed more ice cream to cookie ratio. You think so? Yeah. That peanut butter really requires it. They should have milk to it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed us 
making our way around Nashville. I did really enjoy the Country Music Hall of Fame. As you probably heard, probably the clothes were my favorite part. I'm a fashion girl. I like to dress up. I love shoes. I love fancy dresses. So it was really pretty cool seeing all of the country music stars' outfits. I had fun with that. Cameraman really liked some of the cars because there was a bunch of vehicles. And you guys saw that we managed to find a motorcycle in the Country Music Hall of Fame. At any rate, the riding in Tennessee was absolutely fantastic. I will say this, even the highway riding was for the most part beautiful and scenic. The same cannot be said for the state of Maryland. There are some beautiful roads here, but generally highway riding is not all that great. We have large barrier walls. It's not pretty. Almost every road that we were on in Tennessee was scenic and beautiful including the highways. So we greatly enjoyed our time in Nashville, and I'm glad that we went to see it. And you saw that I also enjoyed that giant cookie sundae. So they had some fantastic food there as well. In just a few minutes, I take you through the Airbnb that we stayed in that was one of the coolest Airbnbs I've ever stayed in. It was actually called a yurt and you'll see me take you through a brief little tour of the yurt. So if any of you guys are in and around the Tennessee area, I will link that Airbnb. It's super cool and had all of the amenities of home. So I would highly recommend that. I will be posting on Thursday, this coming Thursday, a video of a tour through Wheels Through Time, which I've been saying I was going to do for like six months and which cameraman and I had intended to do when we went to Myrtle Beach Bike Week on the way. But then we had the issue of the gas shortage and it took us about twice as long to get from Virginia to North Carolina as we anticipated because we had to pull off so many times looking for gas and we had to wait in line for so long to actually get gas that it took us far too long for us to stop at Wheels Through Time. But you're in luck because we were able to stop through Wheels Through Time at this trip and I have heard so many people tell me how that's one of their favorite places and one of the coolest motorcycle-related destinations. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that tour as well.
So that was the Airbnb that I was talking about before that I will link in the description. I think that part of what's cool about some of our travels is trying to stay in some of these pretty cool and unique places. I know a lot of you are fans of moto camping and I'm not closed out to that idea. I just wouldn't want to do it for an extended period of time because I'm a girly girl and I like to be able to take a nice hot shower. So this trip was uh, about a week in total and I definitely wanted some of the comforts of a nice place to stay. I wanted to mention, because a lot of you commented on the Tale of the Dragon video, that we should have done the Cherohola, I think I pronounced that right, I might have butchered it, Skyway ride. We did do that, in fact. The day before we went to the Dragon, cameraman and I went and did that ride, which we both loved and thought was amazing. We just did not tape it. So we had footage from three of the sort of four places that we rode, although I did include some footage of a few other things on my Patreon videos, which have been posted, and I'll post a link to our Patreon channel also in the description. I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you'll tune in on Thursday for the last installment of our trip that was absolutely amazing. And until then, don't forget to like and subscribe and ride safe, guys.